September 17 is something that you need to be aware because the eclipse is coming. This eclipse can help you manifest your dream. If you are having issues financially during this eclipse, I'll be performing this ritual together with the Sri Yantra to unlock all your dreams and desire, especially with attracting more money to help you unlock all your financial abundance. If you want a solution to all your financial problems, you better visit my website, eatreadlove.me, and join the thousands who's already pre-ordered. How's my favorite sign? <laughs> Don't tell the other water signs. <laughs> Hi, Cancerians. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your energy check-in. What is an energy check-in? Well, we check in the energy. <laughs> Did I say more? <laughs> okay. So, oh, and also there is a code flashing there for people. And I know this is one of the sickness of Cancerian is they like to shop. <laughs> and of course, what's a better way to shop than <laughs> getting a discount code? Labor Day 24, of course, you can only use it one day. 20% off store wide. So shop till you drop. And it's a little gift for you guys um, so that you guys will enjoy this wonderful day. Okay? So we're going to we're gonna talk about the Sri also. Some astrology here and there. But this is more of just a, a, syn a synopsis or a snapshot shot, shot of the September. Okay? Eclipse is uh, coming on the 17th. That's something that we need to be um, looking after also so there's a lot okay let me get my tarot um, let's see okay let's see let's see hey. damn you're starting rough ten of swords bone of the deck you are tired oh, ten of swords okay let's see Two of Swords, Eight of Swords. What is going on? Queen of Cups. Okay, what's going on mentally? There's a lot of whispers. Eight of Swords, a lot of doubts right there. But you're not, um, you're not addressing it. Okay, Queen of Cups. It's for you. It's like if I don't deal with it, it doesn't become to reality, and it's better that way. So there, there has been some issues, but you just don't know how to solve it. So you'd rather not deal with it. Okay, but then it's going to be stressful. You don't understand that, okay? Just be careful. Mm. It's giving same... I don't know if you're talking to a Gemini, but the Gemini got the same card. Four of Cups to the Four of Wands. Okay, so if it's about relationship, there's something missing. Okay? I feel like relationship, there's always something missing and then something is found missing. You know, you understand me? Like, it's not always a hundred. It's not, you know. There are good days and bad days in relationship. And you have here the Four of Cups and then the Four of Wands. Yeah, I mean, like, it's good, but is it... It's not what you expected? Is that what it is? There's something like a magic Four of Cups right here that you're looking for. Oh, so, let's just say honeymoon stage is over. I don't believe that honeymoon stage is over. Well, you know, because my parentals, I call them the lovebirds. They're always in honeymoon, 100%. Probably they're watching right now. Mm-hmm. Hey, golly, There's, their honeymoon is like forever. <laughs> I refund right here. Oh, okay. So if there's any sign that I know who can celebrate um, a relationship, I feel like it's Cancerian. Yep, you want the fire. You're struggling. Strength card, Hierophant. Oh, six of cups. There's love. Okay, committed. Secure. Strength card. Good, 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 good. You're having a hard time, but you're going to get over that hard time. You see that? Mm -hmm. So nothing to worry even. Let me see. Because the Knight of Wands with the Four of Wands, you just, you want it all. Okay? Now, I don't see your person as far as like what they're contributing. So this could be probably the issue. You feel like it's one-sided. Okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. Is it one-sided? Oh, definitely this. You give, you give. And now you're saying, this is the problem. Eight of Wands with the Three of Swords. Okay. Mm hmm Okay. Now, you guys know one of in one of my charts, because there's different Varga charts, I'm a Cancerian. So, I feel this. One-sided, right? You know, Eight of Wands with the Three of Swords. Why? Why is it always just us? Isn't it Cancerian? Right? And we are left <laughs> with the eight of ones right here. You initiate, you initiate, you initiate. You're asking for where is the reciprocity cell? Where is it? I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Three of swords right here. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 
star card. You're in healing mode. Okay. You're manifesting something good for yourself with a star. Okay. You see that? You might want to travel. Okay. But you're definitely not feeling it as far as the relationship. This is a pain. This is a struggle. And of course, without me really mentioning it, I don't want to mention it, but I'm going to mention it. Okay. No, I hear sound. It's just the sprinklers. So. <laughs> um, with Ashla Mashani, Saturn in the eighth house, it does bring strife in the relationship. Okay. Now. It doesn't mean you guys will break up, but it can lead to a breakup because there's a Three of Swords already. How long is Saturn is in the 8th for you? It's a year and a half more. So forewarned is forearmed, meaning if I'm giving you a heads up and this is happening in September, especially it's in retrograde in the 8th and it's going to be looking at your second house, I feel like this is about something that they have said. That And you know us concerns, we can really just... Take it upon us. It's like, yeah, it's okay. I don't want to say anything. You know, and it hurts us, right? Okay. So that part where Eight of Swords with the Two of Swords, that could be the, uh, you know, that could lead to the breakup because you're not really ex expressing yourself. Well, Saturn prevents you from expressing. That's a problem. But by November 15, um, when Saturn goes direct, you might let, you know, you know, how'd go? Hell loose like that. Okay. Now, with the Three of Swords and the Star card, this is about divine timing. Okay, let me see. King of Wands, Four of Swords, a lot of thinking. Your person is doing a lot of thinking, and so, so is you. But good times will come, because look at this, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, this is amazing. And we know when you get the Wheel of Fortune, well, one, first, okay, I'm going to talk about the Wheel of Fortune. When you get your Sri Yantra, and there's something that you want me to energize it for. This is for pre-order. This is the Sri Yantra. So this is what I'm preparing for everyone. Um, this coming eclipse on the 17th, especially if you're having issues with relationship or money. You 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 let me know in the checkout, uh, intention, situation, what you're manifesting. You also get the this is the last day for the the eight and carat piao because I don't have any more piao. Um, protection before attraction. It's obsidian and moonstone. And the last day also to get the cash box that I've been sharing with everyone, how to just double my income. Five years before I'm ready to share. You get the incense, jasmine, an eclipse report, and of course the om bell. Okay? Free shipping in the US and we ship to more than 80 countries across the globe as well. So this is the time where you can change your luck. And we're going to ring the bell of abundance because you will claim that money will come to you. And it is very, very effective. It's free to claim. You just say money comes to you three times. You know what I like is I ring this bell every day to all the readings. So money comes to me. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> I told you it's effective. So I want the concern to be okay, manifesting that luck. Wheel of Fortune. You deserve that. You deserve that. Mm. You have the full card, but you have to release and let 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 go and let God at this point. Because you have the full. Mm. When you, because this is a spiritual card, when you start to rely more on your faith, I was talking to another concern the other day, uh -huh, and um, he's my colleague, and I was discussing about a person should work so hard in their life that they'll have more time to pray. Does it make sense to you? Okay. So you will work your ASS off like so hard, like every day, every day, every day, every day. Because that investment of energy at some point in your life, you will have more time to pray. Mm -hmm. And once you're there, you know, you receive the abundance of life. But you will pay your dues. Okay? Like when I say you will pay your dues, consider, like let's just say for me, okay, I'd work 90 hours, you know, I'd, I'd sleep at the restaurant, you know, when, when I was still in the restaurant. And what will happen during the time, I don't have time to pray, you know, I pay my dues first. But now I can soak up all the energy because I have worked so hard. Now I'm able to pray more than work actually. So, because it's supposed to lead you to um, that whole abundance will lead you to your spiritual path. So that whole working for the money it will put you into a philanthropist. It would put you into a place in life where you can help others. And that's when you can pray more, manifest more. And that's the beauty of it. So people 
think that you know chasing the money or working hard for the money does not lead to your spirituality. It will go reverse. As soon as you have a lot of money, you'll go to your spirituality. I mean, that's that's what I've experienced. Do I have a lot of money? Let's just say I'm spirituality now. <laughs> yeah, I was working crazy. I was working crazy. Mm-hmm. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. This is this is going to be a time where you will receive also this kind of love. There's someone who loves and cares for you with the Ace of Cups and the King of Cups who looks at you that you are the shizzles because that's the wound. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. They feel strongly towards you. That's good. Okay, you see, sometimes we overthink. Sometimes we overthink. Okay, but there's a, there's a lot of things that you have been thinking that you have to let go. But what I want you to think right now is going to my website and treating yourself with the Sri Yantra. I'll see you guys again.